How's it going guys? My name is Jerry with Aesthetic Auto Detailing. Today we're going to test out this product, Dark Fury. A lot of you guys have asked about it in the comments and we're going to test it out. Going to check to see if it's worth the purchase and we're also going to compare it to the products that I use. All right, Jerry, first question is, how much did you drop on it, bro? How much was it? You know what? I have the receipt. I think it was like $5.99 or something. It came out to like $6.45, $7. Uh, I did my research before to check to see where I could buy it. And I saw that they sell them at like O'Reilly's. So I figured just pass by really quick and just purchase it. I'm more of an AutoZone guy, but I went in there, bought it really quick and going to test it out for you guys. Now, what's your honest opinion about detailing chemicals from big store brands, O'Reilly's, Walmart's? Do they work? Are they cheaper than real detailing chemicals? What's your opinion? You know what? I would have said back in the day they weren't worth it for sure, but I have noticed that a lot of these shops are really stepping up their game. One thing that really stood out to me was when they, I started seeing like Adams in there. I know for the longest they've all carried like McGuire's and all that, and McGuire's, their detailing line is actually pretty, pretty well known. But nowadays, I think they're all just like stepping up their game with that stuff. All, all right, right, Jerry, cool. so before we get started, break all down right. the chemical, man. What does it do? What is it supposed to do? All right, guys, so this one's called Dark Fury. It's by this company, Superior. From what I've seen, a lot of people like to use them on their tires, the rims, break down the uh, brake dust and all that stuff. A lot of people also like to use it for like the bugs on the grill, bumper, all that stuff. So one thing that stood out to me specifically was I see that people get like the five gallons and that supposedly it's like so uh concentrated that you're able to dilute it and make like i could be wrong but i think that it said five gallons can make up to 25 gallons so for people like us we're running a detailing business that's actually really great great because you guys get more for your bang and now talking about chemicals that do multiple things is that a money saver is that convenient it depends is it trash I would say it's a money saver for sure. Yeah, especially, I mean, I've heard nothing but great things about this product. So that's why finally I was thinking like, you know what, I'm gonna test it out. And like I said, some of you guys have asked about it. So I'm gonna find out today. All right, how are we gonna test it out? So what I was thinking was I could spray it on. We'll do two, two different ways. We'll spray it on, let it sit, you know, the recommended time, which is I think between like 30 seconds to 60 seconds. Um, and then we're gonna rinse it off. And then on, on another tire, we're going to do the same thing, but we're actually going to agitate and work it in, see how it comes out. And on another tire, we're going to use my chemicals and we're going to compare all of them. Do all for 10 to 20 seconds. All right, Jerry, 10, 20 seconds later. Yep, let's see. So all we did was just rinse it off. We let it sit for the 10 to 20 seconds. It looks like it did a great job removing, you know, whatever grime I did have on here. The tires don't look bad either. One thing that I was kind of looking out for was checking to see if it was gonna clean up in the, in the wheelbarrow, which it kind of did and that stuff is pretty dirty. So we'll find out in the next tire. All right guys, so we tested it out a little differently, agitated it, worked it in with the brushes and everything. One thing I was looking out for was the wheelbarrow. It kind of didn't really do anything. So now we're gonna test out the products that I use. Do you think it's similar results? Was scrubbing and not scrubbing? You know what, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I think I think it did uh, similar results because it did take off like the, the grime that was actually on the wheel and everything. For something like that, it, it did its job. All right, Jerry, so what are you gonna do different this time? All right, so what I'm going to do is I have my degreaser and I have my uh, brake buster. I know we could use brake buster as you know a degreaser as well. The only reason why I do it like this is because I use my brake buster to break down the brake dust on the, on the rims, wheels, whatever you guys want to call them. And then the degreaser, I would usually buy it in bulk for a good price. So that's the reason why I do it like this. Every once in a while, if the wheelbarrow is, has caked on, you know, brake dust and all that. I like to use a non acid from NanoSkin. I could be wrong, but I have the bottle, so I'll show you guys. But yeah, I like to use this. We're gonna test it out, see how it comes out. All 
All right, so as you guys can see, we pretty much got the same results for the face of the wheel, the tire. There is a significant difference in the wheel well, but it is non-acid. So it's not gonna be as strong as acid. All right guys, so for the wheel barrels, I know we're gonna try to clean them up. The non-acid didn't do as much of a good job as it would have with acid. If you guys do wanna clean up your wheel wells, I use this one right here. The label's a little messed up because I've had it for a while, but I bought this bottle at 3D Montclair. So we're gonna do a video on it. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. If you guys like it, make sure to hit up 3D Montclair. Let them know that Jerry from Aesthetic Auto Detailing sent you. How long do you let it sit for? I let it sit for like a minute. Okay. So now I let it sit for about you know, 45 seconds, a minute, and you could already see the difference. It's like, it's coming off like butter. Easy. One thing with acid, I've always seen it, is that you guys wanna make sure you guys neutralize it. So what I like to do just to be safe, and you know, I've seen it from other videos too, it's not like I created it myself. Either spray like some degreaser, spray some brake buster, just to make sure to get rid of that acid, because if you don't, the acid is just pretty much gonna be like, continue working from my understanding. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just gonna spray some brake buster, try to neutralize it. And remember guys, I've mentioned in the videos before, I always use new chemicals on my vehicles first. And as you guys see, this is my personal truck. What's your number one tip for new detailers who wanna try acid but have never done it? One, I would say don't do it in direct sunlight. Two, if you can, try to do it on your personal vehicle. Don't let it sit for too long and always make sure that you guys neutralize it like I mentioned. Because if you don't, you're probably gonna mess up your, your wheels. All right guys, so as you guys can see, we tested out the, uh, the Dark Fury. It did do a great job uh, without us having to you know, really work it in. Obviously it did better with us scrubbing it. In my opinion, it really didn't do a great job taking off, you know, like baked on, caked on, braked us in the, in the, the wheelbarrow, but, we did test out this acid right here and it did a great job. So is Dark Fury worth the purchase? I would say yes it is. But like they say, there's a product, there's a tool for every single job. And Dark Fury unfortunately wasn't the job. Clean up the wheelbarrow. What would you use it for? I mean, I would. you could use it for like brake buster and uh, degreaser, especially because it's very uh, dilutable. It'd save you guys a lot of money for sure. So I, I know for a fact it has you know, that's why a lot of people were talking about it. All right, Jerry, so what do you think? Should they go give it a shot? Stick with what they're working with? I would say Dark Fury, it's really, uh, it really wouldn't hurt to give it a try. Just know that if you guys are looking for like a strong, strong, you know, cleaning up like caked on, brake dust and all that stuff, I'd probably go with something else. But if you guys are looking for like really minimal effort, you know, very dilutable. You guys are gonna get your money's worth. Give it a shot for sure. All right, guys, so let me know. What do you guys use to clean your tires and wheels? And if you guys want me to, you know, try out another products, let me know down in the comments below.